Hi friends, it's JJ and this is Travel Tuesday with Today with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, we are going to the oh so amazing Rome, Italy. It's time to enjoy La Dolce Vita. Rome is known as one of the finest and oldest cities in the world. From historic tours through ancient Rome, the iconic Colosseum, climbing to the top of St. Peter's Basilica, and let's not forget the majestic Trevi Fountain to toss a coin in so that fate can bring you back to this eternal city. Rome is jam-packed with so many things to do. So here are my top 10 amazing things to do while in Rome, Italy. And as I state in all of my videos, if you are visiting Italy, please check the entry requirements prior to your trip to Italy. So let's jump right in to the video. Number one on the list is the Colosseum. As the Eiffel Tower is to Paris, the silhouette of the Colosseum is to Rome. The Colosseum opened in 80 AD and could hold about 50,000 spectators. With a circumference of 573 yards, experts say it's an engineering wonder. Since the Colosseum is a favorite attraction in Rome, you will find lengthy lines here. So to jump the line, you can buy your tickets from the Roman Forum. Link is in the description below. Number two on the list is the Vatican. The Vatican is the smallest independent state in the entire world. In the Vatican museums, you will find one of the most alluring attractions within these walls, the Sistine Chapel. But don't overlook the treasures housed within the museum, including the spiral staircase and the Raphael rooms. The Vatican museums are so immense that I highly recommend guided tours. You must reserve your tickets well in advance and you can do so online. Number three on the list is St. Peter's Basilica. It's the epicenter of Roman Catholicism. It is centered in the Vatican City and open daily for free, except for Wednesday mornings for Pope appearances. There are certain parts towards the top of the Basilica where you can view the spectacular panoramic view of Rome's landscape, but there is a fee for that. Best time to visit and get a glimpse of the Pope is Wednesday, where he addresses the crowd in St. Peter's Square with prayers and songs. Lastly, keep in mind, this is a church, so there is a dress code that is enforced. No shorts, skirts, hats, or bare shoulders. Number four on the list is the Pantheon. Despite the fact that the Pope Gregory III removed the gilded bronze tile, it is remarkably intact for over 2,000 years. It was a former Roman temple and now a church. You can also pay your respects to Italian kings who are also buried here. The Pantheon is located in the Piazza della Rotonda. It's a cozy setting to enjoy a coffee and gelato. Pizza is offered here as well, but to experience authentic Italian food, I recommend going outside of all of the attractions. Number five on the list is the Roman Forum. Not as popular as the Colosseum, however, the Roman Forum comprises much of ancient Rome's most important structures, like shrines, government houses, and monuments. Though it is in ruins and in the middle of a thriving modern city, it's like stepping back into the heart of ancient Rome. 
your imagination will take you on a journey to imagine the former glory of the Roman Forum. Number six on the list is the Santa Maria della Vittoria. Though it is relatively smaller compared to the city's other churches, it's nothing short of stunning. This chapel was featured in Dan Brown's Angels and Demons. It also hosts Gian Lorenzo Bernini's Canaro Chapel and the Ecstasy of St. Teresa's Statue. The detail of St. Teresa's statue is truly incredible. Number seven on the list is the gladiator experience. If you've always wondered what it's like to swing a sword like Spartacus, you will love the Roman gladiator school experience on a Paean way near the Colosseum. It's a two hour private lesson, fantastic for anyone six years or older, and it includes clothing, weapons, and an interest to the Gladiator School of Rome Museum. Number eight on the list is a day trip to Pompeii. In southern Italy's Campania region near the coast of the Bay of Naples, Pompeii was once a thriving and sophisticated city. Pompeii was buried under ash after the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. You can find a full day tour that will take you on a hike to the crater of Mount Vesuvius in the summer or visit the National Archaeological Museum of Pompeii, as well as seeing the sites of Pompeii. Number nine on the list is a day trip to Pisa. In just over two hours and 10 minutes on a high speed train, you'll arrive in Pisa home of the iconic masterpiece, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Climbing the tower takes about 30 minutes. Even though it isn't difficult, you may get a little dizzy climbing the tight spiral staircase at an incline. While in Pisa, the picky pasta, biscotti, and pilgrim cake are some of the must-try Tuscan food classics. Number 10 on the list is the Trevi Fountain. Any trip to Rome would be incomplete without a visit to the Trevi Fountain. This powerful 17th century Baroque masterpiece once provided water to the Roman baths and the fountains of central Rome. According to legend, tossing one coin over your shoulder into the Trevi Fountain will ensure your return to this eternal city. Tossing two coins means that you'll find love and you'll return back to Rome as well. And tossing three coins means that you will get married and return back to Rome. Now the legends may vary. I've heard if you toss three coins, you may even get divorced. Uh, yikes. So I recommend the one coin rule. <laughs> Yay, you have made it to the end of the video. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Please do not forget to comment where you are watching from. Also, if you are not yet a part of the family and you love traveling with me every Tuesday, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to put the bell notification on to always so you're notified every time I post a video. And you know the deal if you are a returning subby. If I have missed anything in this video, which I know I have, there is so much to do in the wonderful city of Rome, please go ahead and comment down below your must do while in Rome. I want to thank everyone for coming by my channel. Have a wonderful trip to Italy. And until next Tuesday, have a good one. Bye.